All living things depend on energy to survive, and they can obtain this energy from a variety of sources. So some organisms are able to directly harness energy from the sun, and they use this energy to drive the chemical reactions involved in photosynthesis. These are referred to as autotrophs. They are the producers in a food chain, such as plants on land or algae in the water. Other organisms, like us or this adorable wombat, rely on autotrophs to provide their energy for them, usually by consuming them like this wombat is eating the grass. These organisms that rely on energy by eating autotrophs are called heterotrophs. Autotrophic organisms contain cells that can use energy from the sun. Individual cells of heterotrophic organisms require energy from other matter. In either case, if cells are supplied with enough energy, the whole organism can function efficiently. Most life depends on the energy from our sun. Autotrophic organisms convert solar energy from the sun into chemical energy through a process called photosynthesis. These organisms have cells that contain a specialised oval-shaped organelle called chloroplasts. And chloroplasts contain a pigment called chlorophyll that is able to absorb light energy and make it available for use in photosynthesis. Chloroplasts have two outer membranes surrounding the organelle. There is a third inner membrane called the thylakoid membrane that forms long folds within the organelle. The thylakoid membranes look like stacks of coins, although the compartments they form are connected like a maze of chambers. The individual coins are called thylakoids, and the stacks of coins are called grana, or granum for singular. The green pigment, chlorophyll, is located within the thylakoid membrane. The space between the thylakoid membrane and the chloroplast membranes is called the stroma. Photosynthesis is a series of reactions that occur in the stroma and thylakoid membrane system of the chloroplast. During these photosynthesis reactions, carbon dioxide and water are combined to produce glucose and oxygen. The internal membranes of the chloroplast is folded many, many times, and this provides more surface area for chemical reactions of photosynthesis to occur. Chloroplasts have their own genetic material. They have both DNA and ribonucleic acid, RNA for short, and ribosomes that are similar to those of prokaryotes, reflecting their evolutionary link with prokaryotes. All organisms, with the exception of the kingdom Archaea, use glucose as the primary source of energy to drive the thousands of chemical reactions that occur constantly in each living cell. In each living cell, the chemical bonds of glucose are broken, providing energy that the cell can use. And this chemical process is known as cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is a series of chemical reactions that involve glucose and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. During stages of these chemical reactions, energy is released, and this is used to build up molecules called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. ATP is an energy storage molecule that is used to power cellular processes. In eukaryotic cells, the first stage of cellular respiration takes place in the cytoplasm. The final stages occur in mitochondrion. Mitochondria are organelles that are scattered throughout the cytosol of the cell. Each mitochondrion consists of an outer smooth membrane and a highly folded inner membrane. The folds of the inner membrane, called cristae, protrude into the inner space of the mitochondrion, 
which is a protein-rich fluid called the matrix. The cristae provide two important features of cellular respiration. One, the enzymes for cellular respiration are located on the cristae, and two, the numerous folds of the cristae provide a large surface area for the chemical reactions to occur.